and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's actually going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I've recently gotten to redecorate my room. And I know on Twitter and things, I've been telling you guys that I have repainted. And if you want more information on that, I have a brand new video over on my vlog channel containing some vlog footage of the day I did paint as well as the specific color and things. But I am so, so happy with it. And I'm finding a lot of really cute, unique things to put in there now. And I wanted to share them with you. But you're also going to be seeing a few things that I've picked up in regards to this new background because I do plan on keeping it. I just love the way it looks when I'm editing and I feel like a lot of you like it too. It's just way more me and a lot more simple and that's exactly what I was looking for. And I do have a few big things that I'm going to get to last but starting with the little stuff. I picked up a few really cute things at Target starting with this really unique thing that I just couldn't pass up. I believe this was only about $15 or $17 and it's this cute little envelope right here. I know it's really shiny so you guys are kind of getting the glare but it's just a little letter holder and it just says that it's for a wall decor type thing and I just think it's so unique. I love things that look like this that are either oversized or really really small so this being a really big letter that I could put things in I just really really liked it and I think that it could go in a lot of different locations. I love how they have it styled right here and I think I could just put receipts in this or just any type of letters or anything my cousins make me. I just think it's a really good thing to have for organizing and I think it's going to go perfect with my new gray walls. The other thing that I did pick up from Target was a little bit more pricey and it's just this vase right here. And I say pricey but I think this was maybe around $15 to $20 but I just like that it's white and then I hope you guys can see the texture that it has. I just think it's super classic and I thought about putting flowers or something in here and even putting it in the background of my videos or in my room. Like I said my walls now in my room are very neutral so I just love really neutral things and just things that will go with anything or go anywhere so I really really liked that which is why I picked it up and then the last little thing that I have to share with you guys is from home goods and it's this plant right here I really really liked it because of the shape of the base for one and also the color because this is very similar to the color of my walls now in my room and then I loved it with the pink I just thought the green the pink and like this taupey gray were really pretty together and when I did buy this I was thinking of it more for back behind me in these videos to bring a little more color back there but it's another thing that I keep saying but it also could go really well in my room and I just love things that could really transition and go pretty much anywhere in your home. So getting into the bigger things I'm not quite sure if I can lift this up I might have to do a separate clip of it but this is a very cool very heavy laundry basket and it is giant. Oh it is very very big as you couldn't tell and I love wicker baskets and things like that my mom's really the person who got me onto those she loves using them to decorate and even as trash cans in some cases but this one was so big and obviously it says laundry on the side so I really wanted this for my room because I do have a laundry basket in there now that's just those really short kind of wide white ones and it's the plastic one and so I just thought that I could put this in the corner and have it look a little more decorative <laughs> if you get my drift but also it's bigger so I can fit more clothes in it but I really really liked that and that was actually only let me check here $39.99 which is a little bit expensive but with TJ Maxx and Marshalls and even home goods the return policy is fantastic fantastic I have returned so much stuff there even way 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 over the date on the receipt but I really like that and like I said it's something that even though it's a little bit pricey I could always return if I don't use it this next thing is actually something that I didn't buy myself. It's actually just something that's been going around our family and my aunt had it and she wasn't using it. But it's this mirror and I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it is an oval and it is pretty big. But hopefully I can insert a clip here of what the whole thing actually looks like. But I wanted a new mirror because the one in my room I did have was just a simple one. I think from Target that had a black frame. Like I said it's very very simple and even though I liked that one I have a more girly feel to my room now and I thought something like this would be a little bit better. So before I went out and bought something that you know was $40, $50, I wanted to give this a try. But the one thing I wanted to ask you guys is that I need some tips because I'm looking to paint it, especially this outer kind of um, detail right here, just because first of all the gold doesn't really fit in my room, but also I don't love the color of that middle part right there. So if you have any tips on how to go about doing that, I am at a complete loss. I have no idea how, then please leave it down below. But I do like this and I'm excited to see 
see what it looks like in my room once hopefully I do paint it. Now drum roll please because this is the one thing that I'm most excited for. I found this just a few days ago and I seriously just couldn't pass it up. It's perfect and it's actually the chair that I'm sitting on right now. Now funny story, I've kind of been looking for a chair a little bit because before in the past two videos that I filmed up here in this location, I was sitting on a kitchen chair the Wii Fit board stacked on top of that and then a pillow. So it was not comfortable at all, but I had to be a little bit higher than just the chair itself. So when I found these and came across all of the selection that they had at Home Goods, I was completely shocked. This is an adjustable chair and it's almost something that I think people would like cut hair in or something. Don't ask me why they had so many to choose from at Home Goods right now, but they really did and I got so excited. And I wanted to throw this in here really, really quickly because with this specific chair, it had a couple stains on the top part that were very, very very small but weren't noticeable and this was the last chair of its kind at the home goods and I really really liked it out of all of the selection I had this is was my favorite one and I just went up to the register and I've done this plenty of other times but they're so great about it because if you find anything at any of those three stores that you really like but it's just not in perfect condition I would totally totally go up to the register and ask them if there's anything they could do about it because in this case and a few other cases I don't do it all the time I just do it when I really feel that it's necessary I ask if they can do anything and they typically take 10% off so for me for this chair it was fantastic because I saved about $10 and it's still returnable even if they mark it down so I just wanted to throw that out there I don't loop the system or do anything like that and ask every single time I'm there I just do it when there's really nothing left and I still really want the item but just throwing that out there like I keep saying I think that's great and like I said the return policy is perfect too which is why I buy a lot of my stuff at those three stores so I really was thinking about my future as far as YouTube is concerned because this chair will get me through a lot of different aspects as far as my background changing because you know in the future if I do change again and I need it to be a little bit higher this will totally totally do that I also like that it's very comfy because it's padded and it's quilted and I love the fact that it's white and also it swivels so I really really feel like it covers all bases and it's something that I'm going to be using for a very long time I really hope you guys enjoyed today's haul and even though it was a little bit different it was still kind of beauty related right because it has some stuff that I'm going to be including in the background of these videos but as always, please give it a thumbs up if you want more hauls like this because I'm sure I'm going to be picking up a lot more things for my room very soon. Also, make sure to subscribe while you're here and also be sure to check out that vlog video that I was talking about because I have some really cool stuff to share with you in that one and the link will be right down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.